Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fusion tutorial. In today's video, we are gonna make this extension spring and we're gonna be using a cool tool that I don't think has been shown much on YouTube and that's called intersecting curves. So I've set a few things up. I'm gonna make this parametric and I've already created the parameters. So I've got diameter, revolutions, the coil diameter and the pitch. So let's get started. We're going to start by creating a coil. Let's just get our bearings here. We'll just do this bottom plane here. Click on the origin. And from here, I'm going to type in diameter. And now we can start typing in our parameters. So for revolutions, we're just going to type in our parameter for revolutions. For pitch, we can type in our pitch. And then the coil diameter is the section size. An important note, um, the coil diameter has to be a little smaller than the pitch. So if I hit OK, and the reason for that is because you need this gap. Let's say our pitch is 4. Well, if I also made the coil diameter here 4, these two bodies would be touching and you'd get an error. So... I always set my coil diameter about 0.2 millimeters less than the pitch and hit OK. Okay, so there is our basic spring. And one other note, you want to make sure you are on revolutions and pitch. The reason for that is because this makes the start point and the stop point in line with each other. And that's really important when you're trying to make this parametric. It's also important because when we make these little loops, they're going to be going in opposite directions. So, okay, so let's get making the uh, curve for the little hook here. So we're going to start, let's turn the origin on, and let's just start on the bottom since we have the or this plane right here in line with this this coil. So let's create a sketch right here. And I'm going to kind of move this a little bit because I want to hit P for project and project, make sure it's on the edges and uh, surfaces here instead of the body. And we're going to click this surface, make sure projection link is turned on and hit OK. And now you can see it's projected this little line here. And from here, we have to draw a, we have to do a few things. So first I'm going to make a point on the origin. So I'm going to hit create point and put a point right there. You can also just put a point on that center mark if you want. And we're gonna do create arc, center point arc. And I'm gonna click the origin, this point, and we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees. And finish sketch. Actually, we, we did, I forgot one thing. Let me go back here. I want to actually draw a line here for future reference. So I'm going to hit L for line. I'm going to do a construction line and drag this over here. Okay. So there is our first. Let me turn the body off so you can see what we did. We basically drew a line here and then a center point arc 90 degrees. And let's finish sketch. And you can see that created this curve along the coil. So now we're going to make a curve in the opposite direction or in, a, or in a different direction. So in this front view here, we're going to create a curve that now goes up like this. So let's create a plane on this surface here and hit OK. You could just draw a sketch right on the surface, but I like creating planes. And I'm going to create a sketch on that plane. I'm going to move my view a little bit. P for project. I want to project this uh, construction line here and hit OK. And I want to draw another line that matches that line. So I'm going to hit L for line for a construction line, hit X on the keyboard. And I want these to be equal. So I'm going to make this line equal with that line. Okay. Now we can do another curve here, another arc. So center point arc. I'm going to click here, click here, and rotate 90. Now you can see this is a construction line because I forgot to turn it off. You just click the line, then hit X on the keyboard. And you want to make sure your sketches are constrained here. So you see this is black and the other, the other line down here is black. That means it's fully constrained and dimensioned. So we're going to finish sketch. Now before we do the intersecting curves, 
I want to explain what it actually does. So I'm going to turn the bodies off. And let's actually just actually let's just go ahead and make the curve. So we're going to create a sketch. To do this, you need to create a sketch, and it doesn't matter what plane you do. So we're just going to pick this plane. We're going to go to create. Project include an intersection curve. Now we can choose our two curves and it gives us this curve that's kind of a combination of both. And let's hit OK. Now I'm going to explain what this is doing here. So let's turn off that last sketch that we just did, the intersection curve, and let's finish sketch. So if I have these two curves, let's go into surface and let's extrude these up. So I'm going to hit the extrude button on this curve and I'm going to bring it up like this. Oops, my body's turned off. Let's turn bodies on and hide this. So I just extruded that curve up. Now let's do the same thing for this curve. So I'm going to extrude this this way. Now you can see where they intersect here. I don't think I extruded this one far enough, but it doesn't matter. You can see this line where they intersect. If I turn that sketch back on, it drew that line. And that's what intersection curve does. Let's just back up here. And I'm going to delete those. So now that we have that curve, we can use that to kind of make our hook. So now we're going to make this hook go this way. So I'm going to do another sketch and we're going to choose this plane. I'm going to hit P for project to project these two points here. Hit OK. And now we can do another arc. So center point arc. We're going to start here and here and we'll just rotate around. I think I did about 200 degrees last time. Hit enter finish sketch and we can now be, go back to the solid tab and we can sweep this so we can go to create sweep click on that surface path is this intersection curve and this arc right here make sure you're set to join and hit OK so let's hide these sketches here turn off our origin and there is our hook now I'm going to do the same thing for this side. This might be a good time for you to pause the video and try it on your own on this side. But if you want to watch me do it again, here we go. There's a little bit, um, there's something a little different we have to do for this because we need a uh, construction plane at this line, but we know what that height is. So if we turn on, if we go to offset plane and click on this bottom plane, we know this is revolutions times pitch because that is the height of our spring and so and if you don't know the pitch is the measurement between this point and this point between the threads or the coils so if we if we know our pitch and we know how many revolutions we have we can multiply those to get the height and now you can see this plane is right in line there okay so let's do this again let's draw a sketch I'm going to project this surface. So P for project on that surface. Make sure projection link is turned on. Hit OK. Oops, I finished sketch. Let's go back into sketch here. OK, I'm going to put a point on the origin and we'll just do a point on the center mark. L for line. X on the keyboard to make it a construction line. And we're just going to draw a line between these two points. Create arc center point arc and we're going to start here click here and drag to 90 degrees and you can see that my line is black that means it's constrained finish sketch now we're going to do another sketch on this plane which is right in the middle there i'm going to hit p for project and we're going to project this horizontal line here hit ok L for line, X to make it construction and bring it up. And we're going to make this line equal with this line. And now we can do our center arc again. Center point arc. Click, click, make it go to 90. Make this a solid line instead of construction. So there we have our two curves. So finish sketch. And now we can just do our 
just pick a construction plane. Now we can do our intersection curve. So create intersection curve with these two curves here. Finish sketch. One more sketch on this plane. P for project, just to get those points into our sketch. One more arc, and we'll type in 200 degrees, finish sketch. And now we can sweep, create sweep. And our path is these two curves and hit okay. All right, let's hide our sketches here. And there you go, there is our spring. So we've got the hook coming this way on this side and this way on this side, nice and centered. And of course you could change, you know, you could change these curves to have, if you want this hook to not be so small or to come up so far, you could change these curves. As long as they intersect each other when you extrude them, you can use that intersection curve tool. Now what's even cooler, since we made this parametric, we can now change the size of our spring and everything will update. So let's say we want a super small spring. Let's change the pitch to like 1.5 and we'll change the diameter to 12 and maybe the pitch to 25 just to make some changes. And there you can see that spring completely updated. Okay, there you go. Um, I hope you learned something. I'd love to see your example of using this intersection curve. I've got a Facebook group called Shop Therapy, and you can join that and share some of the photos or some of your work or ask questions, discuss things in Fusion. Um, okay, that'll do it. We'll see you guys on the next video.